A Springfield woman has a message for people trying to rent homes in Springfield. It's that if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. And Serenity Barnett says someone posted her house for rent online and has been scamming people into making down payments, only for them to show up at her front door and see the home is actually occupied. Color 10's Parker Paget is live in Springfield with her story tonight. Yeah, imagine you're at home and random people keep showing up asking if the space you're currently living in is available because they saw a post on social media saying it is. Serenity Barnett says that's happened more than once recently and it's part of a slow growing nationwide scam. This is what Serenity Barnett has been dealing with for several weeks. We uh, got a marketplace. We're, we live in Lincoln, Missouri. We're trying to move up here. Mm -hmm. We got a marketplace and the lady was trying to rent this place. Okay. But these people have been living here for like four months now, and we had a second person just do that. Potential tenants hoping to rent her place while she's actively living in it. She says people who have showed up say they've paid money in advance to scammers on social media thinking they'd soon be moving in. One of the last couples that approached us was an older couple and they lived somewhere else in Missouri. It was like a three hour drive away. And he's like, man, I just got a job up here. I've got a week to move. Like this lady, we gave her the money and told, she told us to come here. And then she blocked us and we can't get a hold of her anymore. So now we're kind of in a position where we don't have anywhere to go. And I absolutely felt terrible for them. Pamela Hernandez with the Better Business Bureau says these types of scams are becoming more common across the country. It is very easy to take images from other websites, uh, to take images from Google, to put those out there. And, and create a fake listing. It doesn't take a lot to do that. She says in communities where good housing at affordable rates is hard to come by, scammers pounce. You get excited because maybe you have found something that's in your price range in a neighborhood you've been looking at. Barnett is hoping to raise awareness so people spot these schemes before they lose money. I would suggest, because I've looked for housing on Facebook as well before, I always take the address if it's provided and I'd search it into Google. You can use Zillow, Trulia, all that stuff, like rent.com, to see who actually owns it. Hernandez says you do have options if you've been scammed, such as filing a police report, or if you used a credit card, there are extra protections for that. Now, she says the best way to avoid a situation like this is to do your research and don't jump on an opportunity if it's too good to be true. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.